Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today to make art with Mrs. A. We are going to create a 3D hand. The final result is going to be very impressive. You get an illusion of a hand looking like it's hiding under a rug. It's an illusion that's totally cool as you can see. And I know you will enjoy making this 3D hand and sharing it with your family. All right, let's get started. What will you need today? A white sheet of paper, a black marker, a pencil, and since we are going to be coloring, it's your choice what you would like to color with. So you can color with markers, crayons, or maybe you may want to paint. All right, so the first thing we need to do is trace our hand. You may not be able to trace your hand, so if not, find someone special and have them trace your hand for you. Open up your hand very wide and you want to have your paper tall building way on the table. Place it on the paper. Doesn't matter where you place it, anywhere you like. I'm going to trace mine with a black marker, but if you don't want the marker to get on your hand, you may want to trace it with a pencil and then go over it with a black marker. So I'm going to trace my hand, go around my fingers, turtle slow, telling my marker or pencil where to go. This way I am in control. Go all the way down to my wrist. And then when I get to my wrist, I'm going to extend my lines so they go off the paper and I'll show you. All right, now we are ready to use a black marker. And again, if you want to go over, uh, you want to make these lines with pencil first and then go over with black marker, you can. So what I want to do is I'm going to draw parallel lines and when I get inside my hand, I'm going to bend the line. So I'm going to start you want to try your best to keep the space between the lines even, all right? And when you're drawing, if you're using the pen of the marker, I mean, you want to try your best to not lift or stop your marker. Start from one point and then go all the way to the bottom of the paper. Now I'm going to get right inside my finger the next time. As soon as I go into my finger, I'm going to bend the line and then straight, bend the line and then straight. I'm, gonna, I'm going to draw one more so I can show you what that looks like. Bend the line, straight, bend the line and straight. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I started my line, my parallel line going across, and as soon as I met my finger, before I get inside my finger, I'm going to bend the line and then go straight, bend the line, straight, bend the line, and then straight. I'm going to do a couple more. It's up to you how you want to turn your paper, whatever is easy for you. Try your best to make the lines, the parallel lines straight. You may even want to use a ruler. All right, here we go. I'm going to draw a couple of these straight inside the finger, bend the line and go straight, straight, bend the line, straight, bend the line, straight, bend the line and straight. So here we go. And I'm going to continue that all the ways down to the bottom of my paper. All right, so let's see what Mrs. A created. Here we go. So I all my I have my I drew my parallel lines inside of my hand. I bent each line. Now I'm going to think about the color. You can use as many colors as you like, or you can look at the color wheel on page three of the PowerPoint, and you can use complementary colors. You know, remember complementary colors live across the street from each other on our color wheel. So you can have red or green, blue or orange, or purple or yellow. 
All right, today I'm going to choose purple and yellow for my 3D hand. It gets a little tricky though because you need to make sure you're going to create a pattern with your colors. So what I suggest is, like Mrs. A did here, I took the purple and yellow and I just made a small mark creating a pattern all the way up to the top. This way when I started to color, I knew exactly which shape needed the purple or the yellow. All right, so that's how I created mine. And then you're gonna continue all the ways up. And when you're done, your hand will look like a 3D illusion. And make sure you share it with Mrs. A. I love to see your awesome work and share it with someone in your family. All right, have a great day.